the lunar gravity field is surprisingly variable. And uh, so when you, uh, when you have a satellite in orbit around the, around the moon, what you find is that as it flies over different parts of the gravity field, its orbit gets changed a little bit. So typically when we look at the gravity field of Mars or Venus or a Jovian moon, we track from the Earth, the large antennas of the Deep Space Network we, the spacecraft as it traverses across the, the planet. And, and as the planet rotates, we cover the entire uh, planet and, and we can watch the spacecraft uh, orbital variations over the whole planet or the whole moon. In the case of the Earth's moon, there's a, uh, a part of the Earth's moon, a very significant part, the far side uh, of the moon, that, is, that does not present its face to the Earth. So we can never directly observe the spacecraft as it goes across the far side of the moon using Earth-based tracking uh, antennas. So the solution to that was rather than track the motion of the spacecraft as it's orbiting the moon from the Earth, track it with another spacecraft also orbiting the moon. So we actually have two spacecraft in GRAIL, and they track each other. And even when they're both out of sight of the Earth, each spacecraft is tracking the other one and telling us what the other one is doing. So we can track these very minute motions as they go around the moon. In the case of GRAIL, we actually have enough precision in the tracking link to see variations between the two spacecraft um, of something like a few microns, a few millionths of a meter per second in their relative speed. And just to kind of get a gut feel for how small that is, a smoke particle in the air or a red blood cell are a few microns across. Tracking one satellite with another satellite in order to, to look at their relative motion and, and measure the gravity field that way was actually first pioneered for an Earth gravity mission called GRACE. GRAIL's payload consists of uh, two things. The, the main one is the Lunar Gravity Ranging System, the LGRS, whose job is to exchange precise radio signals with the other LGRS on the orbiter. That's the science measurement instrument. It's uh, essentially the same technology uh, as the GPS in your mobile phone. And in fact, the two orbiters together form sort of a mini GPS and receiver constellation, uh, except using different frequencies from normal GPS. So we're all familiar with tides on the Earth that are caused by the moon. The moon actually has similar tidal response. When the moon changes its shape a little bit due to those tides, just like the Earth does, we can actually measure that. That affects the gravity field. As the lunar shape varies, its gravity field changes, and we're able to observe that. It's one of the ways that we use uh, gravity to really learn about what's deep inside a planet, and it's really the only way you can do it because it's, uh, uh, you have no other way to measure what's going on inside the planet. We find it a little bit like magic, too, sometimes. <laughs>